So in April 2017, NVIDIA had an April Fool's event where they had a USB stick that looked like a mini graphics card and had a bunch of AI stuff on it, but that was just an April Fool's. And here it is in real life without the AI stuff. Um, and they're giving away 1080 of them in a competition. Actually, not a competition, sorry, a raffle for signing up for GeForce Experience thing. Um, I have a couple here, and I'll just do a quick unboxing. So these are a bit different than the ones given away for free. Uh, these, I guess, they open this way, or the ones open this way. The box opens this way for the ones given for, uh, for free, so this way. You can see a whole bunch of those unboxing. Here is the unboxing of this one. Well, let me show you the box. So, 64 gigabytes, GeForce. USB drive, it's got the NVIDIA green, inspired by gamers, the by NVIDIA, and of course the box slides out this way for this particular version, but inside is exactly the same, I mean the same USB, got the NVIDIA green, and then the USB drive is inside, this little foam thing, and then of course you can Open the USB 3.0 thing and slides out like that. The fan, of course, is just decorative. It doesn't turn. Wish it actually had a little motor. That would have been cool. But it is, uh, I think it's made out of some sort of metal. It's got some weight to it. And it feels kind of cool to the touch. So it's not like made of plastic, I think. I don't, I can't really tell. But it's got some weight to it. It's pretty big. And I have two of them. Uh, it's got some air suction so it's such a tight fit it's hard to open with one hand there you go There's the second one and I'll plug it into the computer to do a speed test in a bit but as you can see this is what they look like I'm pretty sure they're making way more than 1080 it's just they're giving away 1080 but not gonna stop making them afterwards so this is my user benchmark uh, my computer is pretty good for being like, what, uh, six years old, still doing pretty good. Uh, I guess the only thing I upgraded was the graphics card and I did that a few years ago to the 980 Ti. Otherwise it's pretty good. It says I have, what, like 15% background CPU or some, some percentage, 15% of background CPU because I have some other stuff running in the background. So this test is not really the, as best as it can be. Also tells me to upgrade to Windows 10. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna do that. But I have my older Windows without all the crazy new stuff. So uh, my CPU is overclocked a bit. GPU is also overclocked a bit. That's why it's on the higher end of these charts. This guy was connected to USB 3.0. It's not an SATA. It probably can't detect my settings for this correctly. So I think I'm on some other RAID thing. Drives are pretty much in the middle of performance. And here's the USB drive. So you could see it's 59 gigabytes free, uh, operating at USB 3.1. But overall, it's not that good um, compared to. Well, it's it's good compared to the other ones of similar, you know, style. It's on the top here. Uh, but overall, for all the USB drives, it's pretty bad. I mean, I know they go up to like 200 read now or something. There's only 115. Uh, so. Not the fastest USB drive in the world, but I mean, it was never advertised to be the fastest. It's just a cool novelty item. But in terms of usability, I mean, this is still way usable. In fact, let me run this again, maybe with a couple other USBs attached just to see what a, another like normal Walmart grade USB speed would be. So here it is again on a normal, uh, regular USB drive you get from like Walmart or something. This is the Lexar jump drive, also 64 gigabytes. Um, so this, I guess this one's at 3.0 speed, not 3.1. Um, yes, so here is the results of that drive. So you can see the NVIDIA one is actually faster than the, the Walmart one by bits. You know, I, I know the read was like 100 something on the NVIDIA one. Uh, right was maybe well, was like 36. This is also 36. They're both around 36 on the other one. So the other one's a bit higher. I think it was also 7 here. So I mean, you know, you see that it's faster than a regular drive, um, but not the fastest drive around. You can see there some drives can get pretty crazy fast. So the other one, so my NVIDIA one was somewhere down here, I guess. Um, 
but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.